by Argyle Cyrus Gadiukos. Malakanang said the public should not be alarmed by the calls for a revolutionary government, Reverend Gov, as President Duterte already dismissed in numerous times the idea of declaring such. This after Vice President Lenny Robredo raised alarm Thursday over the participation and support by some government officials to a proposal to declare a revolutionary government, following Reverend Gov rallies held in the country Thursday. Presidential spokesperson Harry Rock, Jansen Romero slash Manila Bulletin According to presidential spokesperson Harry Rock, the president will only resort to declaring such type of government if the Philippines is beyond saving. With all due respect to the vice president, I do not see what is alarming because the president has time and again said that he will only resort to revolutionary government Kapag Lapepe na yung gobierno, Pag Nagahingalo na yung gobierno, if the government is weak and dying, he told palace reporters in a phone interview. And of course, Hindi naman ganyan ang nanjayari sa gobierno and gayon, that is not what is happening in the government right now. He is the constitutional president. He won with an overwhelming lead over his rivals, and he enjoys unprecedented popularity, he added. According to Rock, while it is true that there are some allies of the president who want a revolutionary government, Duterte has repeatedly said there is no basis and there is no need for a revolutionary government for now. The palace official also said that the issue of a revolutionary government is the opposition's last card against Duterte. Even if there are government officials there, that is their personal belief. I think it just so happened the issue of a revolutionary government, I think it's the last issue that the opposition can use against the president, Rock said. So it's actually a combination of some supporters of the president and the opposition making a big deal out of this revolutionary government, he added. Rock, meanwhile, encouraged Duterte's political enemies to now come up with new issues to hurl against the president. Tapusan NAPO Nadan Ang Usapping, let's settle this issue about a revolutionary government. Move on NAPO Tayo S.A. Pasigian, Maganap NAPO KONG Ibang ICO, let's move on. To the opposition, think of new issues now, he said. Duterte earlier reiterated his hope to not declare a revolutionary government as those calling for it held demonstrations across the country Thursday, during the celebration of the 154th birth anniversary of Andres Bonifacio. The president said that while he acknowledges the belief of some people that a revolutionary government will help solve the problems of the country much faster, he said he hopes that it will not come to that moment. There's no need really to declare a revolutionary government. I hope there will never be a time that I will be compelled to call for it, Duterte addressed his supporters. Only when the Republic of the Philippines is dying, Siguro, maybe. But other than that, Walla, there's really no reason, he added.